Well, that's uh, John Young stating in a very succinct uh, manner what uh, could happen. He says if you don't have any tiles on the bottom, the vehicle's gonna burn up. And if you have a lot of tiles on the bottom, the vehicle won't burn up. Mission Control has now confirmed that the missing tiles pose no threat to the crew. Uh, we saw only just a couple of them, uh, so we'll go for a report on that now to Max Robinson, who is in Mission Control in Houston. Max? Well, Frank, pretty much what you're saying, uh, we have just gotten a report that those tiles are not critical. They would not interfere with this mission at all. Uh, we are also told that after landing, the only thing that would probably have to be done would be to replace the patch of skin under the tiles. And that uh, presumably would be a very minor job. Again, the tiles that came off are not critical. We don't have any idea about the underside, the very critical area of the shuttle, uh, which is very critical, critical on re-entry when that plane enters the Earth's atmosphere. We don't know what the condition of the tiles uh, happen to be at this point, but there's no indication that any of those tiles are off at this point. Frank? Well, the tiles, of course, are very important because uh, the shuttle is supposed to be reusable. And that's why they've uh, put on this uh, permanent uh, uh, covering to enable it to come back down through the uh, Earth's atmosphere and uh, subject itself to that tremendous uh, heat and survive. And then uh, bring it back here to uh, Kennedy and get it ready and launch it again. Uh, before, of course, all space uh, missions concluded uh, with the uh, spacecraft coming back through uh, the Earth's atmosphere with an ablative material that uh, just disintegrated and burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. But that was in the days when we were not attempting to make uh, more than one use of the individual missions. Two Frank, minutes, two hours. Go ahead, Gene. No, it's Jules, Frank. All I right, can Jules. guarantee you that Rockwell engineers and uh, NASA engineers are have already begun work in heat tunnels trying to simulate the forces of dynamic Q maximum pressure that is at liftoff to see whether any of the tiles did come off could come off might have come off uh, the aft the forward uh, nose area or the uh, leading edge of the wings the critical areas for re-entry uh, because as Gene said and as you now know there's no way to see or to remotely uh, tell whether any tiles have come off these areas you can't look back uh, from the cockpit uh, to see the leading edge of the wing, uh, nor can you see or tell what's going on underneath here. And even if there were a camera, on a, a portable camera, uh, with a remote tether, uh, which there's not, by the way, Crippen would have to go out and do an EVA to uh, minutely, dissectly, uh, surgically analyze how many of the 32,000 tiles were missing. A massive job. The, the, the tiles, Frank, uh, are indeed for two purposes: uh, to protect against the heat of reentry. But remember, once this uh, this space plane, spacecraft, this airplane uh, returns back into uh, the atmosphere, it must fly like an airplane. So indeed, those tiles have to form a smooth aerodynamic boundary over the surface of the wing, just like the smooth wing surfaces we see on our airliners. So indeed, when they burn. They have been planned and designed to burn evenly so that they do continue to form that smooth aerodynamic surface for the air to pass over as this, this uh, spacecraft glides back to Earth. And you know, I think there is a somewhat of a common misconception that a great many of these tiles that are on the spacecraft right now uh, fell off during the, uh, the flight from uh, California here. Whereas actually a good many of those, uh, those tiles that did fall off were not really the, the ones that they intended to use on the uh, on the spacecraft mission where they, they were they were cosmetic tiles yeah, right? they were there just to provide taking some the aerodynamics of, uh, taking the place of the full tiles that weren't ready uh, and the thing that we should point out is uh, the full tiles uh, are each individually com computers contoured and shaped and manufactured and very large for example uh, if this leading edge of the wing here is two or three feet thick uh, I think you'll agree it has to be that thick Gene mm -hmm. The leading edge tiles uh, are uh, oh, 6, 8, 10 inches high and aerodynamically shaped. So if you lose one, it's a big shock to, of uh, aerodynamic loss. Let's see where they are right now. Huh? Do we All have right. a map that uh, can, uh, might be a good idea to locate the astronauts for you every now and then? Let's uh, see our map and uh, pinpoint their location. They're, uh, they've already gone across the United States. They've crossed the Atlantic for the second time. They've crossed uh, Morocco. They are uh, really right around the equator now. Here's the, uh, the launch once again. We are going to continue 
with our coverage of the mission of Columbia, the space shuttle, after this from our local stations.